So I'm here at my soon to be second job. I'm here for orientation and I'm so nervous. Like I'm so freaking nervous. Oh my god, somebody's passing by, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm so scared because it's my old job and I don't want to see anybody I used to know because it's embarrassing. I want to sneak my phone in. I feel safer when I have my phone with me, but they don't allow phones inside. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. But I'm not as nervous as I was the first time. I have not seen anybody I know yet. And I'm doing I'm doing the opposite shift so I don't see anybody, but it's going to happen. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I always make things such a big deal, but it's like we have to be in a classroom with people to learn how to like work all over again, but um, I hate being in a small place with people. Like I can be in a small place alone, but if there's people, I'm, I don't like that. <sighs> Maybe that's why I have to wear, work at warehouses, because that's the only way <laughs> I'm not in a room with a bunch of people, because an office job would freak me out. I still have so much time before I have to go in. I'm so nervous. But the only good thing is like after this, I'm gonna feel so much better. Like all my stress is gonna go so down. I drove all the way over here and it felt so different. Like back then it was so easy and I knew where I was going and now I was, I was kind of confused a little bit but it was, it's been a year, a whole year and it just feels so weird. Like, even this place feels so different. Like, it looks different to me now. It's strange how things can change and appear so much. Sh like, um, like I did, I wasn't here for three years before, you know? And there's so many trees. Like, I didn't, I don't remember there being so many trees. Oh, I'm so nervous. I even parked at a different spot because I know things are gonna be different now. So I have to get used to Things being different. And I think if I park here, people are less likely to know what car I drive because I, I do have a different car now. And back then, people, everybody knew what kind of car I drove because it was kind of a bad car to drive. And if I made some, if I made a stupid mistake or something like that, everybody would know it was me. <laughs> but I do remember this one time my car was so dirty, people started writing like, hi, Angela. <laughs> that was really cool. I have a picture of it. It was like, nobody cared. Nobody ever washed me, like, that's cool. I don't wanna wash it after that. Oh, I'm nervous. Good thing we have to wear our masks, guys, so that way nobody will, like, recognize me. Or maybe they will, I don't know. I still have so long before I can go in. It's at one, and it's 12.34. I told my other work that I had to leave for some other reason. I didn't tell them the reason because I got scared they would like not like me because I'm getting a second job. I'm not quitting the other one but you know it's not a good look. So I just told them I was doing something else and I left at 12 knowing it was a little earlier because if I'm not early to things especially if it's the first time I get really anxious like I have to sit and and kind of calm myself down. <laughs> Yay, social anxiety. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun being scared of everything all the time. It's, it's kind of hard being around people when you're the nervous type because it's like, you kind of have to explain to them why you have to be early to places or just kind of like pretend you don't. My brother understood. He like, I would do this to my sister when we worked together and my brother was like, just give her time, she, she's nervous. And my sister told me that after and I felt like so, like, damn, he does understand me. That's really nice. It felt good, like, I did never really told him. He just kind of saw me struggling. Like, I would have, I remember one time we couldn't go into our work, because I used to work with my brother, and I, I had a panic attack in the car, because we had to go, like, with, you know, meet our manager and we were a little bit late we were four minutes late and i was freaking out i was like no i can't do this and he had to talk to the, the managers for me and everything was okay he was just a scary manager i'm just 
I get scared easily, okay? <laughs> Maybe that's why, like, I always look, try to look angry and scary. Because that way people leave me alone. I'm nervous. This place is so much bigger than I thought. Like, I don't, I didn't imagine it being this big. It looks so different. Like, it looks cleaner. Wait, did it change or am I just, like, crazy? I've, I never parked this far, so maybe that's why. Like, I'm not far, I'm just, like, this way more. I used to park farther, but, like, closer. Sorry, I look really, really, like, weird today because I'm just not thinking straight because I'm nervous. <gasps> There's a person over there. I don't know him at all, but I have to hide you guys because I'm scared. No one must know that you guys are my secret. My secret friends. Nothing to see here, just making bird noises. It's gone. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, guys. I keep messing with Mel. <laughs> it was like, hey, do you have a Snapchat? And I don't like using Snapchat. Like, it just makes me, I don't know, it just annoys me. So I told him no, but I got a MySpace too. <laughs> Obviously I don't, but since I'm old, I'm like, no, but I have a my MySpace. He's like, um, what's your MySpace? And I told him, <laughs> Jimbo for life. <laughs> and he looked it up. <laughs> And then I'm like, just kidding, it's fish sticks. <laughs> he looked that one up too. I was like, dude, why? <laughs> Can't you, like, understand that I'm messing with you? Like, it's so obvious. He's like, I was trying to find you. I'm like, why would you look for Jimbo or fish sticks? <laughs> he never found me. <laughs> I should make one, though. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody asks me, they're like, hey, do you have um anything? I'll be like, yeah, look me up. It's Jimbo for life. <laughs> that was the dumbest shit. I'm sorry if your name is Jimbo, but that's just a funny name. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. I need to do some jumping jacks because <laughs> that calms me down. I used to do, like, when I'd get really nervous at work, I would go to the bathroom and do a bunch of jumping jacks because I was so nervous. I was, it would calm me down because it gave my heart a reason to beat so fast. It was like, oh, okay, it makes sense. And it would calm down. Does that even make sense? I don't know, but it worked for me. This is why I can't do school. Oh my gosh. This is so hard for me. You know there's people out there who, like, try to be different? why <laughs> when i would give anything to be like non-anxious and outgoing and sell my soul i'm just kidding i i wouldn't because it's that's scary how am i gonna sneak my phone in guys <sighs> if i get caught they're gonna be so embarrassing they're gonna be like uh what are you doing ew somebody has a trump sticker i'm i'm leaving <laughs> Ew, they have a Blue Lives Matter sticker too. What the hell? What is this? Where am I? How many? I'm trying to see if anybody else has one. Traitors. <laughs> you really did that. What a loser. Ew. Can I go in? Uh uh. There's no point in me going in early and sitting there and suffering. I wonder how long it's gonna take. I'm so nervous. I don't think I'm taking my coffee. Should I? I think it makes me look like I'm not sneaking anything weird. You know, I was tempted to put my coffee, my coffee in my coffee. I was tempted to put like empty, like drink all my coffee and put my phone in. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Like, hi, you didn't catch it. They don't let you bring your phone in. No fun. But I think I would hide the food. <gasps> um, the phone in my backpack, and hopefully that works out. I'm 
scared though. What was I gonna tell you guys? Oh yeah, if this looks really shitty. There's a lot of wind. If it looks really shitty, it's because my phone, I'm using my phone right now to record this because my camera's just the, doing the most. Like, ugh, it's just, I have to put up that little box thing I made for you guys, that little seat. And I have to put it up and it's so obvious, like I never thought of it. <laughs> I just don't think things through sometimes, most of the time. But that's why I can't, like, I put it up here and... I didn't beg all I swear. It was my foot. <laughs> yeah, we can't. My camera's at home and it runs out of battery and space so quickly. My phone does too, but it's okay. I'm nervous. Dang, the wind is like blowing the lights. Ugh, I hate winter. I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna put on my hood. He looks like a Trump supporter. <laughs> Does that mean? <laughs> that's 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 a good diss. Do you guys hear the wind? Oh my god, do I know him? No, I don't. Oh my god. I'm trying to hide in my face. Good thing we have we can be undercover. I picked the best time to come back because we have to wear masks. I'm nervous. That's why I have you guys here. I'm nervous, so nervous. <sighs> guys, Ellen doesn't want to be my friend. <sighs> she doesn't talk to me. <laughs> I should go up to her and be like, hey, <laughs> why don't you want to be my friend? Why? It's so much harder for me to make um, friends with girls. With guys, it's just like, we can't really do much. Like, we don't really have anything in common. Like, I can't force them. Well, I can. But, like, I can't make them do ma face masks. And, like, it's just harder, you know? Because people are going to think, like, we like each other and shit. So we can't do all that stuff. But with girls, I can. Like, Ellen, come on, dude. We got to do... No, I'm just kidding. Nah, it's okay. It's okay if she doesn't want to be my friend. I make more friends. Watch, I'm, I'm gonna make more friends. <laughs> it's so hard making friends, guys. Especially when you don't wanna talk. So can you guys do the talking for me, please? It's like an ugly day, but it's a pretty ugly day. You know, like, like it's a pretty, I'm nervous. It's a pretty day. Like it's not, like it's cloudy, completely cloudy, but it looks cool. It looks like a movie. Have you guys ever had moments where like your life looks like a movie? I've been having that a lot lately. Like people say things that like you'll hear in movies and stuff. That's so weird. By the way, if you haven't noticed, um, me and Jason did break up. It's been, what, like, two months? Maybe more? Three? I, I don't know. But it feels like forever. Like, it feels like I'm a complete... Like, that was a different me. Like, that was a different Angela who was with him. We are so much better not together. Like, um... It was a... It was a good... He left, and it was the best thing that could have happened to both of us because we didn't work out. So we still get along, but... It's just... I'm glad... At the time, I wasn't happy that he left, but now I'm, like, grateful, if that makes sense. Because uh, I, I tend to become, like, I, I want to be with somebody all the time. So it's better for me to, like, not to be with anybody. Oh, my God, do I know him or I hope not. I'm scared. Anyways, I am obsessing over work now. Damn, that's crazy. I don't know anybody. I like this. It's like a fresh new start. Ew, I just lisp so bad. I don't know anybody. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I don't want to know anybody. There's only like two people I'm okay with seeing. But I know they're not here. I mean, I don't know that they're here or not, but 
Although, I wouldn't mind not seeing anybody really. There's only one, okay, there's one person I'm okay with seeing because I talked to them. I was like, hey, I kind of want to come back, should I? And they're just like, yeah, come back. They're the only person that was just, does that knows. Oh my gosh, this guy was in his car this whole time. <laughs> he saw me talking to myself. Oh yeah, I, I told, um, what's his name? Mel, I told him like, I was talking about something. I said, that's what my therapist said. And he's like, you have a therapist? And it's like, it's very, apparently it's really weird for people to just openly say, I have a th that's what my therapist said. They automatically think you're crazy. So I'm just like, oh shit. He thinks I'm crazy just because I have a therapist. When in reality, pretty much everybody needs a therapist. Um, so I, I just decided to like mess with him and I was like, yeah, dude, I have a therapist because I have voices in my head and he's just like, what? What do they say? How do they sound like? I'm like, I have three and they sound like S Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> and he's just like, what? <laughs> why do people believe my dumb shit? Like, I thought it was obvious. I guess my, um, my jokes tend to sound serious, so I need to work on how I say stuff. <laughs> Ohana. They say Ohana. <laughs> I told, I think like days passing, he's like, what are the voices? Like, don't listen to your voices. And I was like, dude, I was joking. I don't have voices. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> I remember my siblings were like watching TV and it was really loud. So I'm, I was messing with them like, guys, turn it up because I can't hear. And they turned it up. Ew, do I know him? No, I don't. No, I don't. You know what's worse than seeing people? Seeing people you know. That's... <laughs> I always hide from people. I never, like, I'm never the type of person that if I see somebody that I know, unless, like, we're really good friends. I'm not the type of person that goes, like, hey. I'm always, like, hide. <laughs> I must hide at all costs. I play hide and seek without their permission. I remember there's a manager that I found at um, a store and I spent the rest of the time hiding from her. <laughs> and then when I went to work after, I was just still like, does she know I was hiding from her? That's, that's so awkward if she does. Till this day, I still don't know. Oh guys, there was this really pretty manager that used to work here. He was so pretty. He was. He should have been a model. Me and my friend had like the biggest crush on him. He was beautiful. He had the nerve to talk to me. I, I get mad when pre pretty people talk to me. It's like, how dare you talk to me? <laughs> Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> There's a car here. Okay, I'm gonna go. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm gonna get nervous diarrhea. Not again. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Guys, that shit was so embarrassing. There's somebody here. I can't let them see. <sighs> guys, it was like the most annoying thing. I was. I hate quiet rooms with a bunch of people. There's only 13 people. But that's enough. It was so awkward, and she had us do that one thing where it's like, you say your name, and then you have to say, like, a fun fact about you, and everybody was, like, trying to impress everybody, like, they were just like, oh, I've done this, and I'm in this, I'm in nursing, or I'm, I've been in the military, and this other girl was like, oh, I'm, I think she was a cop or something, and when it got to me, I'm like, don't panic, just say you, you're taking this as a part-time job, my dumbass said, I am a cat lady. Dude, that was so embarrassing. I am a cat lady, but I didn't have to tell everybody. Damn it. It's like, that's what I use to impress people, guys. That I'm a cat lady. And she asked me, like, oh, how many cats do you have? She felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, maybe that's my talent, guys. Making people even as uncomfortable or more as I am. I don't think so. I think I'm the most uncomfortable in there. And then we had to take pictures Oh my gosh, we had it like in front of all of us. We had to like take off our mask and our hood and take a picture. Oh my god. 
I'm so nervous for tomorrow. We have to come back at 3. And I don't know what we're going to do, but I really... I'm so glad we have to wear this a mask. And I'm wearing my hood, so I cover my hair too. So no one can see me. No one can recognize me. I saw one person I know, and I avoid him like the plague because... Oh my gosh, I don't, like, I don't get why people, some, some people out there think that I'm not attracted to him, and he thinks he, that I am, I'm not, because I laughed at one joke, one joke he said one time years ago, and now all of a sudden, that means that I like him, like, no, I don't want to see him, I'm scared, uh, good thing it's like the shift I picked, I think it's very isolated. And they were like, oh, don't bring your phones. As if they knew. I I know how to sneak in my phone to this place. So, um, I might get in trouble from that. Anyways, I have to go home, but I really, I'm really nervous for tomorrow. I'm gonna, oh yeah, my coffee, I missed it. Guys, my stomach growled so loud. Like, it was so embarrassing. It wouldn't stop. I am so thankful for masks. Best thing that could happen. Nobody needs to see my face. Oh my gosh, this guy just saw me talking to myself. Good thing he's saying. Hopefully he's like, yeah, she's on FaceTime with another girl that <laughs> looks just like her. Anybody else gonna walk around? Why do I wanna put my mask on still? <laughs> it's like, can I just wear my mask permanently? I'm embarrassed to live. I hate being around people so much and when I didn't have a job for a few months, I got even worse at it. Like I don't, I don't talk to anybody and when I do it's very like, it makes me uncomfortable. I feel like I'm playing a game where everybody knows, you know, the rules and has been playing it for years and I, I don't even know how to use a controller. That's how it feels like all the time in social situations. Like, I just want to hide all the time. Can I just be invisible? Except here. Like, here it's safe. Nobody, nobody's going to hurt me. <laughs> it sounds crazy. Um, I want people to leave, but it's like, I should be leaving. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry, this is like the longest talk ever, but some of you guys probably relate with it. I hate that people don't talk about this. I am so anxious around people. I almost spread out. Like, I was thinking, like, I should leave. I should leave. I should just forget about it all. <laughs> but I didn't, so that's good. Okay, I, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, this is me from days, days after that you just seen. And I'm sorry I've been, you know, gone for so long. It's because, you know, I uh, made... A decision to get another job I don't know why but speaking of that um, Merry Christmas everybody I forgot to say or happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas I pretty much think it's all uh, a drag but I do like being around my family most of the time but anyways that has nothing to do with what I wanted to talk about right now what I wanted to talk to you guys about is, since nobody recognizes me in my, like, old job, I am, it's mainly newer people, because it's a job that people just leave all the time, because it sucks. <laughs> um, so I, I'm kind of scared that I will see some people that I do know. Um, for that reason, I have decided to be undercover, and that means I got myself a hat, because my hair is pretty... Um, I feel like it's recognizable in my, um, ponytail, so I can, here, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna go like this, and then, like that, ignore my big ass zits, that won't go away, no matter what, okay. Like that, right? And wait. And then, I'll wear my mask. 
for if I, get, if I can put it on like that oh shoot it's falling off because my ears don't hold anything can you guys please hold something but um no one will recognize me you know i'm undercover and then i'm just gonna wear big sweaters and i will be seemed i, I will seem like a little boy <laughs> or something and then no one, if they know me, especially some people that I just don't want to talk to, um, no one's gonna recognize me like this. I look like a different person. I just have to make sure my hair is always in. So yeah, I'll be good. I'll be good. Why am I being so hard? But yeah, sorry guys, I haven't been really messaging you at all. I mean messaging you, um... I haven't been, uh, making videos or whatever. It's just, life has been kind of weird lately. A lot of things are happening really quickly. Um, I'm not used to that at all. I'm breathing hard because that was a lot of work. Stuffing my hair and my hat. But, yeah, I like this hat. It's gonna help me be undercover. There is, I think, two people that I've seen that are still there. Um, and I'm avoiding them because one of them I really like, his manager there, but he might tell everybody who I am, and I'm the girl who broke her thumb. That's embarrassing. I just, I'd rather be known as the newbie, the person who just started, who seems to get the hang of it a little too quickly, than the girl that can't seem to leave that place, and after all those years is still not good enough, you know? So, yeah, that's why I'm undercover, and, um, there's this other person who, like, thinks we're friends, but he's not a good friend, so I don't want anything to do with him. So, that's why I'm hiding. So far, my trainer, <laughs> he thinks I'm getting the hang of things quickly. Um, he's really nice. I did miss one day because of the snowstorm, and there's gonna be more, which I'm really nervous about. Of course, I get a second job that's farther when it starts snowing. Like, that's... Oh my gosh, I really don't want to get into an accident. Hopefully not, but anyways, um, I hope you guys are having good holidays. I know they're pretty hard, especially with, you know, our issues. As long as you don't purge, okay? As long as you remove that from it, I feel like you'll be okay. And if you don't under-eat extremely because that that's just that's just gonna set you up for failure so yeah i don't i don't know what else to say about that because i'm still kind of like stuck but i am i really like my first job more because it's not as far it's closer i really like that and i am really getting close to mel i want to make more friends but I don't know, like, I always say I want more friends, but then it's like, when they're there, I'm kind of like, ugh, I don't want to hang out, I'm too lazy. <sighs> it's just too much. But, yeah, um, I'm actually pretty happy where my life is right now. I wish I had more of a purpose, you know, but I'm surprised how far I've came. And if you don't know, go back to my first or second video and then come back to one of these recent ones and you can see how far and how much change it's been just by trying if i can do it you guys can do it trust me like i am i'm a plant i don't move i I'm, it's really hard for me to make to just jump you know what i mean if i can do that if i jumped you guys can so hopefully that makes you want to just do it lately i've been very into like just doing things and stop overthinking because it's it, it just kills our spirit basically it just stops us from doing too much and if this by the way this has nothing to do with it but if this quality is really bad it's because i'm using my phone it's so much faster for me at least the camera is just a bit too much and i'm getting really lazy so yeah that's all i wanted to tell you guys <sighs> I'm breathing so hard Oh yeah, if you want 
updates, daily updates of what I'm doing, either work-related, just adventures, go to my Instagram. I'm always posting on that pretty much because it's not like a whole ordeal of like editing and like putting it together and making it look better, you know? So I'm always posting on there what I'm doing. You don't have to follow me, it's open. It's more of like, just if you guys wanna see what I'm doing, you know? Or updates on stuff like, you know, that whole hiding from from people at work. <laughs> that whole thing, or stuff like that. Ew, look at this. This is ugly. I just washed my hair, so it's really like poofy. I don't know what to do with my hair, guys. It's just, my brother just told me to just like completely cut it off like shave it get bald so i don't have to deal with it but no scary okay anyways that's that's it for now we'll see you guys next time bye